dolls are a very very good thing for small kids because small kids already don't have that much skill but but if you're giving them so much creative freedom with this small little human thing then that's very good because that's like making the child feel more intellectual and that they actually have control so good afternoon how are you you good afternoon also i'm doing well how about you yes i'm pretty well thank you for asking so this is our first session so i would like to know little bit about you uh, can you give your short introduction i am ojaswi i am 10 years old and i like some and some of my hobbies are drawing running swimming studying and i also learn french oh you are learning french oh that's great so it is your favorite language no i i don't like it's my favorite language but since i know english also and hindi so mm-hmm. i'm learning french also so that i'm also good in that language but i prefer english okay okay hmm that is good okay do you want my introduction as well or shall we start the topic no 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 you can give your introduction yes so my name is tanuja and i am from bhopal city and uh, if i'll talk about my qualification so i have done engineering in it branch and currently i am a working professional in one of the software company and i am running my youtube also yeah that's all about me that's very cool because i also want to be a software engineer oh that's nice so, so it is your dream job yeah Okay. so i guess we can start now okay so as you know that uh, we have a topic today uh, indoor game and outdoor games okay so yeah. i have a question for you uh, first question is uh, what do you think why games are important in our life i think that games are important in our life because they allow us to have more creative freedom rather than just sitting all day studying and not doing anything else as a lot of the time we study and do normal things like study eat sleep but playing is also an essential thing as whether we playing indoors or outdoors we still have to play to like create a good schedule with ourselves yes correct but we should not be addicted to game to, uh, to any thing right uh, yes it is essential in our life uh, as you told that yes uh, with studies and with everything with your work it is also a part of our life uh it creates a lot of uh, you know impact in our life if you are uh, engaged with games so it will boost your uh, thinking ability and problem solving ability so it is important okay so Since may i know what is, uh which is your favorite game i don't really have a favorite game but most of the time i like bad play, to play badminton okay that's cool yeah i think uh g- games are good but like if you because also a lot of the time in games we have to solve any problems like like let's say football there are many rules and stuff like that and if we don't follow those rules that we get kicked out and that's for and that follows for many other games so that really boosts like our brain cap- capability mhm yes exactly so it boosts your thinking ability how you have to tackle the situation and how have you uh, tackle the problem so it uh, if you are doing this kind of uh, things in games and some other activities so definitely it will help you in some other way like in your career and in your work also so it is re- required yes yeah. okay so uh, like may i know that uh, what are the advantages of uh, indoor game and what are the advantages of outdoor game i i would prefer if i just talk about the indoor games and if you talk about the outdoor games so that we have a more divided topic okay okay perfect so uh, okay so you are from indoor games and i am from outdoor so can i speak yes you can so i think that outdoor games are good since not a lot of the time you have to like a lot of the time you don't have enough space to just go outside and play something and many times also you don't have you don't have friends to play with like a lot of the time your friends are busy or your parents are busy so you're not able to get them to you want so obviously you don't want to disturb them and that's why you might want to play indoors and i think that there are two types of indoor games mostly 
which mostly come into and some that lie outside a kind of other games. So first, I think there are tabletop games like Ludo, uh, Snake and Snakes and Ladders, and all that type of games. Chess also. There are many games like that, and also there are video games that many children play nowadays, and they do, those are also fine. But I don't like video games since they kind of just take immersion and just use it to their advantage. Correct. Uh, yes, if I talk about outdoor games, so I think I would prefer outdoor games because you know uh, when you are going outside, so you are meeting with some other people, some other friends also. So you are uh, you know able to socialize and you are talking with them and you are learning a lot of things from uh, you know different people also, how they are uh, playing and uh, what are the uh, what are their strategies to take uh, tackle any games or to uh, you know play any games. So it is required and. Yeah, definitely. Sometimes you can't be sit at your home and every time you are just playing games and doing your studies. Sometimes you feel like you should go outside to just have fun and enter entertainment. So that is good if you are going out to play some games. I agree with you because because it's not that you can always stay inside and do whatever. You also yeah. need to go outside to like prime yourself off, have some social interaction. But it's not that I'm. Uh, Disagreeing, but a lot of the time there are also many disadvantages to both of them. So, like for uh, indoor games, is that you always a lot of time you're only sitting and you're not like running around, obviously. And sitting for like hours on end is not a very good thing. So, and also video games are like not that good since what they do is take your uh, attention span and make it very short, and also they. They make it so that the game is like instant gratification, and you can just get anything you want. And they also make you pay money also sometimes, which is also very bad. It is with children, and we don't know because children don't really know how to handle money. Yes, yes, absolutely, you are right. And yeah, nowadays it is going, uh, you know, drastically because people are just more addicted to playing a game. Especially they have mobile phones, so they are, uh, you know, playing this kind of online games, and they know that yes, they have to spend money and all. They literally don't know how you uh, how they have to spend their money and uh, they will get any benefit or not like that. You must have heard about some games like PUBG and all. <laughs> People are playing a lot this kind of game and and ultimately at the end uh, they are losing their money also because they really don't know and I don't think so we should spend money on such kind of things. We have other things to do and we can play other games also. So that is. Uh, we should spend our time in some other way also. That is not required that you have to do, do such kind of game, have to play this kind of game. I think that indoor games are fine, but only in some situations. Like, it's not, a lot of the time your friends are not busy because your friends are probably your own age, so they probably are doing the same stuff as you. So you can play with them and you, it's not like, you have to play with your friends only. You can play games by yourself and meet new people to play with also. Because it's not like all people, everybody's in their homes and they're not coming out to play with you. So I think that it's better to play outside since it's not like you have to play with only your friends, but but you can also play with other new people and that's also very good. Mm -hmm. Yes, but sometimes indoor games are good, especially, you know, if I talk about this time, so in summer you can't go outside in the afternoon time and especially if uh, rainy season is going on, so you can't uh, go outside to play any game. But in indoor games, you can play any time, <laughs> any, in any season, right? So this is, uh, this is a good way that sometimes we can play uh, at our home, uh, like indoor games. And in outdoors, we can't go outside sometimes, especially in rainy season and this summer season. Also, so what's your favorite game, outdoor and indoor also? <laughs> to be honest, I love indoor games a lot uh, because since my childhood, I was more, uh, you know, more focused on indoor games. Uh, I was not going outside uh, to play. Yeah, sometimes I was going, but not much. So I was more focused on uh, playing, a, you know, indoor games mostly. So I can say that I would prefer indoor games. But yeah, both are equally important. I can't say that, uh, no, you should be more focused on indoor or outdoor. Both are equally important. Mostly because I'm still in my childhood, so most of us sports revolved, revolved uh, outside since it's not very good to have like a child just sitting at home doing nothing. And 
it's playing outside is better also for me and everybody it's not just that only children can play or adults everybody should play outside once in a while mm-hmm. yes yes they should play uh, i'm not saying that uh, we should not play outside game uh, outdoor games we should play but it all depends uh, like how much comfortable you are if sometimes you are comfortable in indoor game then you can otherwise if you want to go or play outside then it is okay but we should not be addicted to any game to be honest uh, because it is not uh, good for our uh, you know studies and career everything because it distract a lot we should uh, maintain our time we should uh, set up a deadline kind of thing like yes uh, this are i have to play like this so we can do this yeah i think that addiction is really not worth it and since you have so many interesting games to play why would you risk so much of your time in that mm mm-hmm. yes okay so do you think that if you are going outside so you have a risk of uh, you know your health or this kind of issues yes that can happen if you are not being like careful enough with whatever you are playing hm yes yeah it can be happen because we can't predict <laughs> any anything but in indoor games in indoor games is that you can risk your mental health instead of physical Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, we are right. Okay, so, so as you, your favorite game is badminton, right? And yes. any other game? Not really, because I mostly focus on badminton because it's the best game I play. Okay. So do you play with your friends? Yes, sometimes. Okay, nice. There are more games, like instead of all of these games and Ludo, chess, uh. and there are many more and also video games also there like entire there are an entire world of things so do you ever get bored of those games and like make your own games or do you kind of just not play if you feel bored yes yes we can uh, i think we have number of games we can't say that and some people are uh, you know like some games are very famous and people play uh, this kind of games but sometimes uh, i was also creating my own game when i was a child and you know i was just i was more uh, you know interested for playing with dolls in my age when i was a child uh, because i used to love uh, you know stitching uh, stitching a different dress, dresses for my dolls so yes i used to love this thing we have some different game and it varies according to the it varies their name also sometimes like we were used to play uh, i don't know you know this or not change aste carom and all uh, this kind of game pit do so you are playing such kind of game or not i used to when i was a bit younger but not now anymore okay i think uh, like dolls are a very very good thing for small kids because small kids already don't have that much skill but but if you are giving them so much creative freedom with this small little human thing then that's very good because that's like making the child feel more intellectual and that they actually have control Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, yes, and I think uh, we should engage ourselves in different kind of activities and different games also. But uh, when I was a child, so I, as I told you, that I was more focused on this uh, playing with dolls only, because uh, we can play it any time. And I was in uh, my home, and I'm not going anywhere. So I was more focused on this playing with dolls only. So I think we should engage some, uh, you know. In, uh, engage ourselves in some creative activities and creative games also we can wind up i think yeah i think so okay so thank you so much and have a great day bye bye